Indians. This ain't India. <laughs> nah, no disrespect to the people that think they so-called Indian and they have ties to the Moorish kingdom, to the Moor, to the Moors. Uh, those, those are my people, right? So, uh, no disrespect to them. But come on, let me spray down this word Indian, Indians, right? Indianapolis, Indiana, something like that. You are the Indians. They stole your land. Right. West Indies, West Indian, Jamaican, Haitians, all of them, the Caribbeans. Come on, wake up. More proof, right? Rumble in, in the jungle. You the jungle people. There's only jungles here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, it used to be more, but they keep destroying them. Now it's just the Caribbeans and like uh, Florida and like, some parts of South America. A lot, a lot of parts of South America, right? But uh, you were the original in there. Where you? Anybody? You type Google. They will tell you so-called black people were first, but they won't tell you the ones in America. They'll say in Africa, right? So anybody that got a dark complexion or a tan inside the jungle, where do you think they got it from? Let's talk about the Hispanics, right? No disrespect to Hispanics, those are my peoples, right? But what's the history before 500 years ago? Because they have none, they are the offsprings of the so-called black people and the so-called white generation after generation after generation, they get whiter and whiter, especially when the when everybody perceives the so-called black as evil that's what definition says black is evil black is black plague black death black everything right so why would somebody want to be so-called black because you know only so-called black people want to be so-called black <laughs> yes i like being evil right right and when it's not you right but they they keep mixing with the so-called pale people and then so-called other hispanics they gonna look different after 500 years, and they took some of them took over the jungles after us. We got kicked out, so they took over it. The, like uh, you see like the so-called Aztecs and stuff. And they had they had pyramids. You see it in the movies. They climb up the steps and everything. But the real OGs are the Olmecs. The, those are us. Olmecs, the originals, the organics, the organs. Moors. <laughs> yeah, so if you know about the jungles, uh, we can't live anywhere besides the jungles. They they move us everywhere and we go back to Europe, which Europe is just the northern part of Africa, a dot of it. And Europe is cold. They're making it cold. That cold is not natural here. I think I explained that before. It's, it gets cool, not cold. We made it cold to freeze demons. Like Captain America and some ice. <laughs> That's a demon. Like the genie in a bottle. That's a gin. A demon. And people drink gin. People like tech and devil gin. Demons. <laughs> Everybody loves demons. The genies are really a demon. And they had Will Smith play him. So called black person. Will Smith, all his movies? Messages, right? But he plays the opposite. Independence Day, he's fighting the aliens, right? Man, Wild Wild West, we are the Cowboys, right? He's trying to play a Cowboy, but he's playing for them. I, Robot, he was actually right, but then he trusted the robots. <laughs> so, I guess it was, yeah, that's another story. I'll get into that, right? Well, they said Wilson was supposed to be Neo, but they put Jada Pickett in there. They put Jada Pickett in the, in the Matrix instead of him, right? So I'm trying to think, all his movies he got... Their message, but it's only the opposite. Because he's the first prince of ballet, the prince of air, the prince of darkness, Saint Satan. Shannon. That's who he's representing. Yeah, she is a female. There's more than one. Let me talk about this Lucifer real quick, right? In the Bible, Lucifer is the devil, Satan, all that. It's bad. Satan, Satan, Shannon. But it's only, but you never actually read that. The only thing you read is Lucifer is the light bearer. <laughs> Fall in the light bearer, because it's you. Osiris, Lucy, Lucy is you. Both fallen, right? Uh, 
Satan? Nah, that's real. And there's more than one. <laughs> that's really real. Oh, it's not Lucifer. But since everything's backwards, since everything's backwards, the people that are the bad are actually worshiping their Luciferians. <laughs> you know what I mean? They don't make any sense, but they always they do everything the opposite. That's just what they do. So now, I guess because they got it, it's bad now. The same thing with the Baphomet. All all the symbols are us. We made them. They they're not original. They took all the symbols, everything. And some of them that were good and they're now bad. The Baphomet is bad now, but it was good. Maybe it'd be good again. You know, the Baphomet. If you look closely on the Patriots. The, the Patriot symbol that Tom Brady used to play on, you'll see horns. The Baphomet on the symbol. It, it's not a Patriot. It's the Baphomet. The New England Baphomet. The, he won seven rings so far. Uh, circle seven, that's the Moors. But he had to win seven because he's supposed to be the greatest athlete of all time, a so-called white person, a Jesuit. And so it's just something to get psychological in your head. You you can see all sports, so called black people took over every every sport. And if and the ones they didn't, they, they could if they wanted to. But for entertainment values, <laughs> Tom Brady, sure. You'll you win there. The one that won by three three points. By not three points, by field goals, the first three, three times. And then we find out later on he they were looking at their teams the other the opposite teams uh practices on videos. They were prepared, right? And they had to uh, deflate, deflate the balls gate or something like that. Man, they've been cheating the whole time. Sports is, is rigged. It's fake. The outcome was already predicted. You can tell some of them by, like, the numbers and some of the symbols they use. I'm not the best at, at some of that. I get some of them. I do. Uh, but I don't even watch sports no more. I haven't watched sports in a few years. Uh, I don't get down with them uh, arena gladiator sports anymore. And plus, they're just distractions. Like, uh, old boy taking a knee. <laughs> did none for you. He's super rich. Got paid twice from the NFL. And got the big deals from, from Nike. Don't do anything. But you do hear about this when he donate money. Only donate 95% of it. 70%. Oh, 70. That sounds good. Keep 30. <laughs> not many people do that.